gentlemen, tonight happens to be senior night where the Colony Patriots will honor their three senior basketball players. First up, we have forward number 20, Simran Sangu. She's being escorted by her parents and her brother, Sahil. Her favorite CHS memory is beating competitive teams like South Plainfield and Bishop R and tomorrow's big day when they shave Coach Beery's beard. She would like to thank my co her coaches and teammates who have helped her throughout the season and made it memorable and enjoyable, as well as her parents who have supported her every step of the way. Her future plans are to attend college, as a biology major and running collegiate track. Number 20, Simran Sandu. <laughs> Next up, we have guard, number 14, Gabriella Wilson. who's being escorted by her mom, dad, and sister, Sabrina. Her favorite CHS memory is winning against Bishop Barr and finally being able to shave Coach Beery's beard tomorrow. <laughs> she would like to thank her parents for coming to every game, her teammates she's played with since third grade, and her coaches. Her future plans are to attend college and major in English. And next up, we have guard number 23, Kristen Wright. She is being escorted by her parents and sisters Julie and Lauren and her grandma. Her favorite CHS memory is getting a big win against Bishop Bar so she can finally get the chance to shave Coach Beery's beard tomorrow. <laughs> She would like to thank her family, especially her mom, dad, and grandma for being so supportive and going to all her games, her high school coaches and teammates, and AAU coaches, Gary Battle and John Spees. Her future plans include attending Richard Stockton College in New Jersey, where she will play basketball and major in business. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Joe Tarrant. We're here at the Colonia Patriots High School for a girls basketball match between the New Brunswick Zebras and the Colonia Patriots. The Colonia Patriots come into the game with a record of nine and eight, while New Brunswick comes into the game with a record of one and 14. We're just moments away from the tip off. In the first game tonight, junior varsity, Colonia won 34 to eight. And we're getting ready for the tip. We've got number 20, Simran Sangu in center. And number 34 for New Brunswick, Destiny Betts. And Colonia controls it. Stanley went up for the rebound, had it taken away. And New Brunswick comes down the court. That's Jada Anderson. Gives it over to Anderson again with the ball. And New Brunswick breaks the ice and the score is now 2 0. 731 left to go in this first quarter. This year, New Brunswick is coached by Mr. James Jackson. This is his 13th season. And Colony is coached by Drew Beery. And this is his third year, I believe. Last year, New Brunswick went 4-19, and Colonia had a 500 record at 13-13. Uh, and 13. New Brunswick will take the ball out. Again, it's Anderson in the backcourt, handing the ball. 
Ball goes out of bounds here right in front of the table for New Brunswick. Anderson is the ball handler, it seems, for New Brunswick. She seems like she uh, runs the show. Colonial is playing a 2-3. And New Brunswick is looking somehow to penetrate that 2-3. Trying to do it with ball movement. There, got her. Yes. Got us. It looks like it was. Uh, and that was a foul. I had thought that uh, from my vantage point that uh, she had gone out of bounds. Looked like she was really far under. And that foul is on Destiny Betts. And Colonial will bring it in under New Brunswick basket. Number 23, Kristen Wright brings it up. Looking for Stanley. Gabby Wilson has the ball and has it knocked out of bounds. And it's going to be Gabby Wilson over to Sangu. Back to Wilson. Over to Kristen Wright. Misses the shot. New Brunswick controls the rebound. And again, it's 2-0 right now. New Brunswick is up early in the first quarter. 6.21 left. They have New Brunswick boxed in. And that was Rashana Lewis for New Brunswick, number 32. New Brunswick will inbound the ball. Having a very hard time. Destiny Betts gets it. Anderson in the backcourt. And it's a wild shot. It goes off the top of the backboard. And it doesn't even draw iron. Out of bounds. That'll be Colonia's ball. Rachel Joe will inbound the ball. And Kristen Wright brings it up. Colonia just hasn't uh, been able to, to get off this, the snide here. Scores only 2 nothing. New Brunswick. I would have thought that this would have been a higher scoring game on the Colonia end. Wright with the ball. And that'll be a foul on number 32, Rashana Lewis for New Brunswick. And uh, Colonia having a hard time getting the ball inbound. And there it is. That's Madison Stanley with our first bucket. And we've got the score three to two, because that was a three-pointer from downtown. Oh, the New Brunswick player takes a spill. Kristen Wright tied up the New Brunswick player. And New Brunswick is going to inbound the ball. And again, it comes into Anderson. The uh, stands are really full tonight, and uh, it's been senior night. They honored the three seniors who are going to be graduating. And I understand that uh, those three seniors are going to shave the beard off Coach Berry tomorrow. That was their that was their uh, their prize for being seniors and uh, graduating. And that's a timeout. Well, some of the things that I have about the players, or I should say about the teams. Is Colonia lost seven letter winners last year, but they bring five returning, which means that uh, they have four seniors and a pair of juniors, plus the uh, freshman, uh, Madison Stanley, who, by the way, uh, Tuesday night against J.P. Stevens dropped in 25 points. So we might see a, a high-scoring game from her. Colonia comes into this uh, game with a lot of experience. 
and New Brunswick. They have three returning letter lettermen, or I should say letter women, and they lost five last year. And their goal is just to be competitive this year. And we're back to action here. And it's going to be New Brunswick's ball, bringing it in under the basket. Gets it in, Anderson, as usual, handles the ball. She seems to be the captain of the offense. Gets it over to Long. And there's another foul. So far in this uh, quarter, it's been a, a foul-filled game. Soon along, goes to the line, number 24 for New Brunswick. And she misses the first one. It's just a little short of the basket. Has one more to go. Patriots up three to two. We've got 44 minutes, 31 seconds left in the game. And the shot. And again, doesn't draw iron. So it'll be uh, Colonia Ball. Come on, Colonia! Chris, Kristen Wright's gonna bring it in. She gets it over to Rachel Joe, and Wright's gonna bring the ball up court. Three to two, Colonia up on top. Gets it over to Gabby Wilson, but it's tipped out of bounds by New Brunswick. Colonia Ball. Rachel Joe is under the basket, inbounding the ball. I'm sorry, it isn't. It was Gabby Wilson. And a shot off the backboard. Again, that was right off the backboard. New Brunswick controls the tip, or the rebound, I should say. That's the way, defense. That's the way. Tough day, Colonia. Tough day. As you can hear, the fans are really riled up about this game. They support their team. I know when there's football games, the stands for Colonia are packed. You cannot find a seat. Similar here tonight. Mom and Pop comes out and they support the team, which is nice to see. Okay, Wright brings the ball up. Oh, and she was trying to get Rachel Joe, and the ball went out of bounds. New Brunswick. So far, it's a low scoring game with uh, 332 left in that uh, first quarter. I would have fully expected the game to be a little bit, uh, oh, under the basket. She was wide open. That was Destiny Betts for uh, New Brunswick. She was just wide open. Scores New Brunswick up, four to three. A little over three minutes left in this first quarter. Wright looking to get it over to Stanley. Stanley has the ball, gets it back to Wright. Wright with the ball, three-pointer, and she makes it. Wow, what a shot from Kristen Wright. And Colonia is up on top now. They have two three-pointers in the first quarter. That accounts for all their scoring. And that's a foul, I believe, on number 25, Rachel Joe. No, it was not. It was a foul by uh, Anderson for New Brunswick. Right in front of me, I have uh, Kristen Wright bringing up the ball. Over to Madison, Stanley over to right. Stanley with the shot. Off the rim. A bunch of controls the rebound. And they're bringing it up court. We had a substitution for Colonia. Number 24, Julie Wright came in. Julie is a sophomore. New Brunswick is going to inbound the ball underneath uh, their basket. And gets it over to Betts. And the sh shot is off. That was uh, soon along that shot uh, for New Brunswick. Wright brings it up, gets it over to Stanley. Back to Wright. And here's the shot by number 24, Julie Wright. Puts it in from the corner. We've got the score, eight to four, Colonia up on top. You would expect that uh, Colonia would dominate this game, but uh, New Brunswick has given them all they can handle. 
we got 147 left in the first period. Colonia is up on top, eight to four. I would have expected New Brunswick uh, not to lay down, but uh, not to be as competitive as this. And Anderson for three, and she's way off. And New Brunswick player travels. Okay, Kennedy bringing the ball up. Kristen Wright over to Stanley. Sangu out to number 14. Scabby Wilson. And that's a turnover. I believe Sangu is out of bounds. Well, they got the press going on. We got Wright and Sangu. And they go down on the floor. And it's going to be white ball. Julie Wright in front of me is going to inbound the ball. Over to Kristen Wright. And a little bit of confusion here with the referees. And it's all straightened out. And we're ready to go. Right to right. Kristen brings it up. And the shot. Way off. Sangu tries to get the uh, rebound. Stanley steals it from New Brunswick. Just taking a little bit of composure, bringing it back out. Setting up their play rather than hurry things. And right from downtown. Misses the shot. But she was fouled on the play. So she gets three shots at the line. There's 53 seconds left in that first uh, quarter. Wright is on the line for three. It's amazing how these girls can make these three-point shots. Oh, and the first one is good. Nothing but net. 9-4, Colonia up on top. And we're waiting for the second shot. Nothing but net again. And here comes a substitution for Colonia. Coming out is Sangu. And I believe that was number 25. No, I'm sorry. Yes, it was Rachel Joe came back in. Here's the third shot. And nothing but net. That was a three-point play, whether she sank the shot or not. 11-4, Cloney up on top of the New Brunswick Zebras. Cloney has finally found their legs, and uh, they figured out New Brunswick. And it's reflective of the score. Looks like Cloney is holding for the last shot of the, the uh, quarter. Kristen Wright has it. She's watching the clock. She's uh, setting up the play, looking, looking over to Gabby Wilson. It looks like they're trying to, to get Madison Stanley free. They're looking to get it into her. 19 seconds left. They've got to hurry. New Brunswick is not letting him out of the corner. Madison Stanley has it. She's looking to shoot. Oh, and the ball goes out of bounds with uh, five seconds left to go. A little under six, I should say. New Brunswick will inbound the ball. No sense to Colonia committing a foul. Just let him go. Because if he's... Okay, great. They didn't foul the, the New Brunswick uh, player. Okay, at the end of the first quarter, it's the Colonia Patriots 11. And the New Brunswick Zebras 4. Have some interesting uh, bio, bios on some of the Colonia players. You probably heard some of them at the uh, senior night as they were introduced. But the first one I want to start with is uh, Madison Stanley. Last year I did uh, her sister's game at uh, Woodbridge where she scored her 1,000th point, and it was really emotional. But Madison is number 33. She's a freshman starting, and her favorite sport naturally is basketball. She loves the movie, The Twilight Series. And she loves the Jonas Brothers and Miley Cyrus. I don't know about Miley Cyrus, Madison. Favorite school subject is Jim. And her mo most memorable basketball moment was beating Bishop R and South Plainfield. And that earned her to, earned her to uh, the other night she dropped in 25 against J.P. Stevens. That was Tuesday night until we had all the problems with the snow. 
And we're just about ready to go. Teams are back out on the court. Colonia up. 11 to 4 over New Brunswick. New Brunswick's going to inbound the ball. And here we go. Colonia is, I mean, should say. And the New Brunswick player fouled, so it'll turn over to Colonia. Rachel Joe will bring it in to Kristen Wright. And Colonia is on the attack. Madison Stanley has it over to Wright. Gabby Wilson had the ball. Now back to Wright. Wilson to Wright. Over to Stanley. Back to Wright in the Sandu. Oh, she may have had the shot there. Rachel Joe shot the ball, but there was a turnover. The Brunswick ball. Seven and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Colonia's pressing again. Number 25, Rachel Joe and Sangu. Jump ball. Rachel Joe going to inbound the ball to Kristen Wright. Wright will bring the ball up for Colonia. She seems to be the captain in the backcourt. Very good ball handler over to Stanley. Gabby Wilson to Wright to Stanley. Oh, and the pass is intercepted. It was meant uh, for Gabby Wilson, and the Brunswick player stood, stood right in front of it, stole the ball. It's still a game, though. New Brunswick is still in it. It's 11 to 4. Colonia scored most of their points on three pointers by Wright and uh, Madison Stanley. And that's a travel on New Brunswick. Rachel Joe tied the player up, and the next thing you know, she traveled. Okay, Rachel's going to inbound the ball to Kristen Wright, and Wright will bring the ball up. Wright over to Gabby Wilson. Stanley in the corner. New Brunswick has been keying on Stanley, and New Brunswick intercepts the pass. Jada Anderson. Brings the ball up as she's been doing all night long. It appears that New Brunswick is just not going to let uh, Madison Stanley beat them as every time she gets the ball, they box her out. Colonia is playing a 2 3. There's a shot, and it's off the rim. Rebound by uh, New Brunswick. And there's a foul on. Uh, Kristen Wright as they were battling for the rebound. New Brunswick is going to in ball the ball. And oh, it's just off the rim. Ball was out of bounds off a Colonia player. Had a substitution. 25 Rachel Joe comes out. Number 24, Julie Wright, comes in. 2-3 again by Colonia. They're just not letting uh, New Brunswick under the basket. They're keeping them outside. Every time they try to go inside, uh, there's a shot. It's off the iron. And this game is getting a little physical. There's a shot off the backboard. And Colonia gets the rebound. As I said, this game appears to be getting a little bit physical. The referees are going to have to control that. Because if not, uh, it can get ugly. Stanley with the ball. Gets it over to Gabby Wilson in the Sangu. She, oh, what a move she had. What a move. Although the ball didn't go in, that was great. That was a great move. And we have traveling. On the New Brunswick player. And the score is 11 to 4. Five minutes left in the second quarter. My name is Joe Tarrant, and I'm bringing you all the action from Colonia High School between the Colonia Patriots and the New Brunswick Zebras. Stanley brings the ball up this time. And she gets it into Sandu. Over to Gabby Wilson. And again, the pass is intercepted by New Brunswick. 
They keep Anderson outside again, 2-3 by Colonia. They're not letting uh, New Brunswick under the basket. And that was out of bounds. Colonial bring it in. That's number 24, Julie Wright. She's gonna pass it in to Madison Stanley. Stanley's gonna bring it up court. Four and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Scores Patriots 11, Zebras four. Stanley with the ball over to Gabby Wilson. Back to Stanley. Over to Wright. Wright shoots. It was an air ball. Both teams are fighting vigorously for the uh, rebounds. Anderson with the ball as she's been all night bringing it up. And it looks like, and there's a shot from the corner. It's an air ball. Madison Stanley with the rebound. Scores 11 to four. And again, I thought it would have been uh, more in favor of uh, Colonia than what it is. And the ball was knocked out of bounds by a New Brunswick player. We have Julie Wright. It's going to inbound the ball. Over to Kristen Wright. Over to Gabby Wilson. Back to Wright. Wright shoots a three-pointer, and it's good. Nothing but net. And that's her second three-pointer of the night. Scores 14 to four. Colonia up on top. New Brunswick is in danger of having a backcourt. Tried to get the ball inbounds, the ball's inbounds, and it doesn't go in. Fighting for the rebound. As I said, this is getting physical. Just a little over three minutes to go in the second quarter. Into Sangu, over to Wilson, back to Wright. Wright can't handle it, over to Stanley. And they're just not letting Stanley get inside. They're not letting her have a shot tonight. But they have to be careful with Wright because Wright can, Wright can sink it from three-pointer, it appears. That ball was knocked out by a New Brunswick player. So number 24, Julie Wright, is going to inbound the ball. And we have a timeout. And I'll be able to give you some more bio on some of the Colonia players. Let's talk about number 23, Kristen Wright. She's a senior, and wouldn't you know it, her favorite sport is basketball, and her favorite movie is The Heat. And how would I have guessed that her favorite music artist is Justin Bieber and Jake Miller? Favorite school subject is English. And her most memorable basketball moment was beating Bishop Barr and shaving Coach Beerus's beard off. And I understand that that's gonna take place tomorrow. Another player that we have a bio on is number 25, Rachel Joe. She's a junior. Her favorite sport, again, is basketball. Her favorite movie is Pitch Perfect. And her favorite uh, artists are Beyonce and Miley Cyrus. Favorite school subject is math. And again, her most memorable basketball moment was beating Bishop R. And we're ready to go back to action. And it'll be Colonial Ball inbounding. It'll be right. Looking for somebody. She gets it into Gabby Wilson. Over to right, over to Stanley. As I said, they're just not letting Stanley uh, shoot tonight. But that's okay. Colonia's got plenty of outside shooters into Sangu. I think that, well, maybe Sangu was too far under the, uh, the basket. Wright sets it up. And it was just a little bit short. Three-pointer. There's Madison Stanley. That's her second three-pointer of the night. Score is now 17-4 in favor of the Colonia Patriots. That was a, a hard hit, and the ball was out of bounds. The Brunswick could not control it. Turns over to Colonia. Wright brings it in to Wright. Kristen brings it up court. They get it into Sangu, out to Wright. And the Brunswick is playing tough D. To Gabby Wilson, to Stanley. 
Over the right. Oh, and New Brunswick player intercepts the pass. New Brunswick may not be scoring too much in this game. They only have four points, but they're sure playing tough defense. There's a three-pointer, and it's off the back of the rim. And Madison Stanley controls the rebound. And we've got uh, Kristen Wright bringing the ball up. A little over a minute 30 left here in the second quarter. As I said, New Brunswick is playing tough defense. They've been intercepting passes. Sangu intercepts that pass. Kristen Wright bringing it up. Gets it into Sangu. And Gabby Wilson. Oh! That was a two pointer. A two pointer. She was just inside the arc. Score now is 19 to 4. Colonia Patriots up on top. A minute left to go in the second quarter. And Wright intercepts it, takes it away. That was 24, Julie Wright, by the way. And there's a basket by Kristen Wright. Two pointer, 21 to 4. Patriots up on top, 42 seconds left in the quarter. New Brunswick. Uh, it's getting physical out there, a little chippy. A little chippy, they're talking to that New Brunswick player. I believe that foul was on number 14, Gabby Wilson. I think the referee is gonna have to start talking to some of the coaches here and telling them, listen, gotta calm down here a little bit. We don't want anybody to get hurt. And we're just setting things up. Referee is talking to New Brunswick coach. And we're ready to go. New Brunswick inbounding the ball. Colonia is still in that 2-3. New Brunswick player. And the fouls now are starting to come uh, frequently. There's only 30 seconds in the game. You know what? You're up by uh, 17 points. Let them try to score. Because you don't want any unnecessary fouls with uh, 30 seconds left in the game. Or I should say in the quarter. New Brunswick hasn't been able to put the ball in the basket uh, so far tonight. So let them try to score. But just don't get that cheap foul. It's fouls like that that uh, in the third or fourth quarter get you into trouble and you got to sit down on the bench. Oh, New Brunswick finally... Sinks a foul. Scores 21 to 5. Colonia up on top. Wright brings it up. Colonia will play for the last shot of the quarter. Wright's got the ball. She gets it out to Stanley. Stanley looking for Wilson. Wilson's got the ball. 16 seconds left on the clock. Over to Stanley. Over to Wright. Nine seconds left. And Stanley, oh, it was in and out. That was been a three-pointer. And at the buzzer, Stanley sinks another three-pointer. What a shot at the buzzer. And at the half, the score is the Colonia Patriots 24, the New Brunswick Zebras 5. And we'll be back with more action after the half. Flip six stairs takes determination. So will getting into college. I've got what it takes. So do you. Okay, we're back to action here at Colonia High School for a girls basketball match or game, I should say, between the New Brunswick Zebras and the Colonia Patriots. Colonia is up on top, 24 to 5. I'm Joe Tarrant, and I'm bringing all the action to you. The game started getting a little physical there at the end of the uh, first half. New Brunswick is controlling the ball. Madison Stanley has had a couple of three-pointers. Kristen Wright shooting uh, three-pointers from the outside. And there's a foul. foul. Appeared to be on number 32 for New Brunswick, Shauna Lewis. And New Brunswick immediately calls a timeout. That's unusual. There's 7.40 left uh, 
into quarter, and I don't know why you would uh, call a timeout just 20 seconds into the game. That's uh, highly unusual. But uh, the referees have got to take control of this game because from where I'm sitting, it's, uh, it's getting a little physical. Okay, we're ready to go back to action again. Number 25, Rachel Joe is going to bring the ball in for Colonia. And she's going to end on the ball to Madison Stanley. They're keen on her, but she still has three pointers tonight. Oh, and the ball was meant uh, for Rachel Joe, but it uh, flew right past her. Shatish uh, Roberts inbounded the ball for New Brunswick, but we have a traveling there on Jada Anderson of New Brunswick. Let's see who's going to inbound the ball for Colonia. It's number 25, Rachel Joe. And she gets it into number 14, Gabby Wilson. Back over to right. That's Kristen Wright, by the way. We do have two rights in this game. Wright is looking for somebody inside. It's over to Madison Stanley. Madison's trapped in the corner of the Sangu. And over to Joe, and she sinks it for two. 26-5, Colonia is up on top. We've got Anderson bringing the ball up for New Brunswick. Over to number 24, soon along. And that's a New Brunswick basket. 26-7, Colonia up on top. Kristen Wright with the ball. And they're setting up to the play. They've got uh, Stanley over in the corner by herself. It's over to Gabby. Gabby Wilson back to Wright. And Wright's looking for some room. Gets it over to uh, Gabby Wilson. And we've got a jump ball. Both players down on the deck. That was number 14, Wilson, that uh, was on the floor. And that's the second time, I believe, tonight that she's been on the floor. Rachel Joe is going to inbound the ball to Kristen Wright. Colonia's up by 19. I would have expected the uh, margin to be a, just a little bit more. Sandgood had the ball and she was looking for Kristen Wright. She gets it over to Joe, back to Kristen Wright for a three-pointer, and it's in and out. She had the range, but it just was in and then it came out. Shatish Roberts bringing the ball up for New Brunswick, number 20. And there's a three-point shot, it's off the rim, and that was by Anderson of New Brunswick. And the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be white ball, Colonia. That was Rachel Joe that inbounded the ball to Madison Stanley. Gets it up to Gabby Wilson, over to Sangu. Over to Joe, over to Kristen Wright. They box her in the corner, over to Stanley. Stanley is looking for the three-point shot, but she gives it to Kristen Wilson, who's up for the shot, and it's good, nothing but net for Kristen Wright. What a shot that was. 28-7, Colonia is up on top. A little over five minutes left to go in the third quarter. And Rachel Joe was uh, fighting for the ball for Colonia, and it was also Rashana Lewis Number 32 for New Brunswick. Be New Brunswick's ball. Shatish Roberts inbounds the ball for New Brunswick, and New Brunswick can't get the shot to go. Five minutes left in this quarter. Rachel Joe will inbound the ball for Colonia. New Brunswick's trying to get a substitution in. Stanley with the ball, and the pass is cut off. She traveled. Shatish Roberts had the ball. She's looking for the shot when she stole the uh, pass. However, she traveled. For New Brunswick, we have number one in the game. It's Imani Lou. Kristen Wright with the ball. She gets it up to Stanley, and Stanley just can't jump high enough to get it. 
Out of bounds. New Brunswick ball. Shatiz Roberts is going to inbound the ball to Jade Anderson. Anderson bringing the ball up court. 28-7, Colonia up on top. Just about four and a half minutes left in this third quarter. Amani Lou with the ball, number one. Gives it over to Anderson. Lou with the shot from downtown, and she can't get it to go. And that's a rebound by Madison Stanley. And here comes Kristen Wright, forcing the ball up fast. Trying to get it over to Wilson. Couldn't do it. Gives it to Stanley. Stanley can hit it from there. And she has the ball stolen. And that's fouls on Stanley. And Imani Lou will get a shot. Because of the uh, foul, the uh, refs determined that it was a flagrant. So New Brunswick will keep the ball in addition to those two shots. Shatice Roberts and bounds the ball to Jade Anderson. 28-8. Colonia Patriots up on top. And we have another foul. And that foul was on Colonia. We've got number 34 at the line for New Brunswick, and that's Destiny Betts. I believe that foul was on number 14, Gabby Wilson. Betts with the ball. The shot. And it's... Oh, off the rim, bounced around a couple of times. Rachel Joe goes out, and number 24 comes in. That's Julie Wright. Betts with the ball. Waiting for the shot, dribbles. And the ball again hits the back of the rim, bounces out. Stanley with the rebound. Kristen Wright brings it up. 28 to 8. Colonia up on top. A little under four minutes left in this third quarter. It's been all Colonia, although uh, New Brunswick is playing a tight D. We've had some three-pointers by Wright. We've had three-pointers by Stanley. That was a bad pass. And that was Fallon, a New Brunswick player. And coming in for New Brunswick is number 12. Kelly Tersos. Tersos. Sorry, I mangled that name up. In ball to Stan. Uh, Stanley gets the inbound pass and she travels. She had the basket in her sight, but she shuffled her feet. Okay, it's New Brunswick ball. Bring it up to court. That's Anderson. And number 14, Gabby Wilson intercepts the pass. And number 23 gets it over to Gabby. Wilson and Kristen Wright shoots the ball. Anderson saves it from going out of bounds. Anderson's bringing it up uh, fast. Anderson with the ball, trying to set up the play. Shoots Betts with the rebound. Can't make it go. She was too far under the basket. Wright's going to bring it up. Wright's in the corner. She got boxed. Wilson to Wright. Sangu with the rebound. What a rebound. Stanley underneath the basket. Can't make it go. Shoots again. There you go. It goes right in. Scores 30 to 8. Colonia up on top. A little under three minutes left in the third quarter. And the ball goes out of bounds. And there's a timeout for New Brunswick. Let me catch up on the... Let me get you caught up here on uh, some more of these bios. You got uh, Cimarron Sangu, number 20 out here. She's a senior. And again, her favorite sport is basketball. Who would have thought? 
Favorite movie, Harry Potter series. Favorite school subject is English. And again, this must have been a really important night because uh, beating Bishop R and shaving Coach uh, Beerus' beard, which will happen tomorrow, is her most memorable moment. So that must have been a special game for Colonia beating Bishop R. I don't know what's behind that, but uh, it appears that uh, Coach Beery is going to be in for a close shave tomorrow. Okay, the timeout is over. We've got the teams coming back out on the court. 30 to eight, Colonia up on top. A little over two and a half minutes left in the third quarter. And it'll be New Brunswick inbounding the ball. That'll be number 20, Shatish Roberts gets it over to Anderson. Shatish Roberts dribbling, dribbling, dribbling. Just, and she goes down. Travels. I think she may have sprained her uh, ankle on that or turned it because she went right down. And that's how they got her for traveling. Which is unfortunate. She gets up. Shakes it off. She comes out of the game. And Amani Lou comes in for her. And it'll be number 23, Kristen Wright, bringing the ball in. Gets it over to Stanley. Back to Kristen Wright. Tried to get it over to Stanley. But New Brunswick cut in front of her. Kristen Wright goes into the lane for two. Went right down the lane and hit that basket. Nice layup. 32 to 8. Colonia is up on top. Two minutes left in the third quarter. Oh, and that passes off uh, Sangu. Just had a hand on it and uh, went right over her head. So it'll be New Brunswick ball. Let's see who's going to bring it in. Kelly Tarsos brings it in for New Brunswick. And there's a shot. So New Brunswick finally breaks through here in the third quarter. Scores 32 to 10. For New Brunswick, that was their first two points here in the third quarter. Gabby Wilson's got it. She's driving to the basket. Has Wright underneath. Wright can't clear it. Wright gets the ball back. Over to Stanley. And that was a uh, hard foul. And Amani Lou comes out of the game. And into the game for New Brunswick is Millie Suarez. Right with the ball. She's dangerous. She's had a couple of three-pointers here tonight. Kristen Wright gets the ball, gets it over to, oh, Julie Wright. They're on the floor again. Traveling is called. On, on New Brunswick, traveling was called. Kristen, uh, Julie Wright gives it in to Kristen Wright. Gabby Wilson with the ball, Madison Stanley with the ball. Over to Wright, Wright's looking for the shot, can't get it. And Kristen Wright. The ball wouldn't go. It appeared that was Millie Suarez of New Brunswick with that foul. So Kristen Wright goes to the line. Scores 32-10. Colonia up on top. And the first shot is good. Nothing but net. 33-10. Colonia is up on top. Just under one minute uh, left to go here in the third quarter. Right for another foul shot. Nothing but net again. What a foul shooter. Okay, that makes the score 34 to 10. New Brunswick only has two points in this third quarter. They've had a hard time breaking through. Anderson almost walked with that ball. And looking to get it underneath the basket. It's no good. Stanley with the rebound. We've got 42 seconds left in this quarter. Kristen Wright brings it up. Looking for that last shot. It's 34 seconds left. Gets it into Stanley. Gets it over to Sangu. Sangu can't get it in. 
Gets stuffed. Anderson's bringing it up court from Brunswick. They're playing for the last shot. There's 20 seconds left. And there was a foul that uh, shouldn't happen. Should not happen under one minute left to play in the game. As I said to you earlier, that's a foul that came back to, to haunt you uh, later in the game if it's a close score. Because you could foul out. And potentially put your team into a penalty situation. And Brunswick just cannot get the ball to go in the basket. There's 12 seconds left. Wright's got to get the ball up. 10 seconds. 9, 8. Julie's under the basket. And she traveled. Wow, the ball went in, but uh, the referee determined she traveled. Shatice Roberts is going to inbound the ball. She gets it over to Anderson. Anderson's pressing. It's four seconds, three seconds, two, one. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Colonia Patriots up 34 to 10. I'm Joe Tarrant, and I'm bringing you all the action here from Colonia High School. This is a girls basketball game against the New Brunswick Zebras and the Colonia Patriots. Well, we'll catch up on some more of the players for Colonia. We've got Julie Wright. She's number 24, and I have her grandmother sitting right next to me, so I've got to make sure that uh, I give all the information. Now I've got the cheerleaders right in front of me, so let's hear them. And Colonia cheerleaders did their thing. Very nicely choreographed. Okay, let's get back to the bios. I've got number 24, Julie Wright. And she's a sophomore. And again, her favorite uh, sport is basketball. It seems like all the girls here uh, love basketball, and why not? Favorite movie is Anchorman 2. Favorite music, uh, this is one that I like, is Acacia. And favorite school subject is English. And the most memorable moment for her was the Saraville game. And we're just about ready for the start of the fourth, fourth quarter. As I said, Colonia is up on top, 34 to 10. This is the fourth quarter. And number 23, Millie Suarez, is going to inbound the ball. It's a number three. That's uh, Jada Anderson. Long pass. And it just didn't go. Okay, we got Wright's going to inbound the ball. And Wright's looking for somebody. Scott Stanley. Stanley with the ball over to Wright. New Brunswick's pressing. In the corner to Rachel Joe. Oh, over to Madison Stanley. Sango in the middle. Oh, can't get it to go off the back of the rim. That was a great shot. I thought for sure that was going in. Jada Anderson with the ball for New Brunswick. Anderson with the ball. Looking, looking, looking. She gets it into Danae Corbin. And that's Roberts with the ball, number uh, 20. Shatice Roberts, Roberts. And there was a foul on a Colonia player, and she will go to the line. Shanice Roberts, 4-2. Scores 34-10, Colonia Patriots up on top. A little over seven minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Dribbles, dribbles, and shot. And it's good, nothing but net. 34-11, Colonia up on top. And here's the shot. Oh, off the backboard and in. So that's two points for Shatice Roberts. That makes the score 34-12. And Sangu loses the ball. No, she gets it back. And New Brunswick fights, and there's a score by New Brunswick. Beautiful play, although it wasn't a play, it was a beautiful layup. New Brunswick is pressing now, full court press. Sangu has the ball, gets it over to Wilson. But the ball is off a New Brunswick player, number 23, Millie Suarez. 
coming into the game is number 24 for Colonia. And that's Julie Wright. Going out is Cimarron Sangu. Well, I mean, uh, Madison Stanley from the three-point line didn't go. She was open. Three-pointer for New Brunswick. Go off the front of the rim. And uh, Rachel Joe goes down hard. She goes into the stands behind the uh, New Brunswick basket fighting for a rebound. I said before that uh, the referees have got to uh, take control of this game. Referees are discussing the last play. They've straightened it out amongst themselves. And it'll be number 23, Kristen Wright, inbounding the ball, trying to find somebody. She finds Stanley. Stanley gives it back to Wright, over to Stanley. Rachel Joe has the ball. Oh, almost a backcourt uh, violation. Gabby Wilson has it. She gets it over to Rachel Joe. Stanley with the pass, and there was a foul. Number two, three for New Brunswick with the foul as Millie Swars. And ball turnover to Colonia, and it's Rachel Joe getting it in. New Brunswick player. Bats it back. That's number 34, Destiny uh, Betts. Knocked the ball out of bounds for New Brunswick. Going out is Millie Suarez for New Brunswick. Three pointer for Stanley. Doesn't go. And the ball is off uh, a New Brunswick player, so Colonia is going to control it. Rachel Joe gets it into Stanley. Stanley's open. Again, off the rim. Anderson pushes it up for New Brunswick. Colonia is back in position. Again, they're playing a 2-3 defense. You've got uh, Wright and Wilson now in the backcourt. Oh, wow, what a shot by Suna Long for New Brunswick. Three-pointer. She made that shot rain. It was high and it was long. Okay, that pass is intercepted by New Brunswick. That was Rashana Lewis that was going up for the basket. And it appears that that uh, foul might have been on Madison Stanley. 34-17, Colonia up on top. Five minutes to go. A little over five minutes to go, and the ball's in and out. And Colonia calls a timeout. Okay, let's get back to our bios that I have here. It's very interesting about these players and what they like and what they don't like. And last but certainly not least is... Uh, Gabriella Wilson. That's number 14. And uh, Gabby is a senior. And again, her favorite sport is basketball. Her favorite movie is Elf. She loves Beyonce. And her school subject, uh, the favorite one, is uh, English. And again, her most memorable basketball moment was beating Bishop R. And getting to shave coach is... Uh, beard tomorrow. I guess that's a thing for all the seniors. And that was a present uh, for them beating uh, Bishop R. Okay, the timeout is over. We've got 5.23 left in the fourth uh, quarter. Colonia up on top, 34-17. to 17. <laughs> Waiting for New Brunswick to come out onto the court. And we've got Wilson, Sangu, Wright, Wright, and Stanley on the court for Colonia. And nothing but net. That was Roshana Lewis for New Brunswick. That makes the score 34-18. 
Stanley gets it over to Sangu, gets it over to Wright. Wright was looking to penetrate, but uh, got cut off by New Brunswick. Ah, uh, it kicked the ball. And that was number 20 that kicked the ball for New Brunswick. Shatiz Roberts. So it's Colonial Ball, they inbound it, tried to get Sangu under the basket, couldn't do it. Pass went over to New Brunswick. Under the baskets, number 34 for New Brunswick, Destiny Betts. So she puts in two. New Brunswick is slowly getting back into this game. A little bit over four and a half to go, scores 34 to 20. Pass is intercepted. The ball goes out of bounds off New Brunswick. And it's going to be Colonia ball. Coach Berry rearranging his players and telling them uh, he's coaching them hard. New Brunswick got the ball again. Let's see if New Brunswick puts two in here now. That they'll be right back into this. Ball goes out of bounds off of Gabby Wilson. Ball's gonna be inbounded by Shatice Roberts for New Brunswick. Gets it over to Anderson. And the ball goes out of bounds. It's gonna be New Brunswick's ball. Going out is number 24 for New Brunswick. That's long. Coming in is Amani Lou. And a long shot. Doesn't go. Jump ball. Stanley was in the middle of that. And it's going to be New Brunswick's ball. Shatice Roberts will inbound the ball. And there's a long three-pointer, and it goes in. Amani Lou, and guess what? Brunswick's back into this game, 34-23. Very surprised. We've got Colonia, that's 9-8 and eight this year. And New Brunswick's 1-14. And, and New Brunswick's giving Colonia all it can handle. Stanley with the ball, she's under the basket, passes it over to Joe. Joe with the shot. That was only a two-pointer. Rachel Joe. She's a junior. 36-23. Colonia's up on top. A long three-pointer by Amani Liu for New Brunswick. Doesn't go, Colonia controls the rebound. Kristen Wright brings the ball up for Colonia. Over to Gabby Wilson, over to Stanley. Back to Wilson. Stuck with the ball, passes across court over to Joe. Over to Stanley, Stanley looks for the shot, goes to the hoop, and it does not go in, but Sangu gets the rebound and puts it back up and in. 38, 23, Colonia up on top. And that was Anderson that just uh, drove to the basket for New Brunswick. Over to Wilson. Wilson's got the open shot, and it won't go. Stanley with the rebound. Stanley from three-point in the corner, and it won't go. New Brunswick with the ball. Shatish Roberts has the ball. She's bringing it up court for New Brunswick. Very slow and deliberate. And they've got to cover her from the uh, outside. Number three, Anderson. She's been shooting from over there, and she's hit a couple. Kristen Wright's going to bring the ball in. It appears she's going to inbound it to Madison Stanley. Stanley's got the ball, bringing it up, passes it back to Kristen Wright, over to Stanley, to Rachel Joe. Over to Gabby Wilson, and it's in. Beautiful play, beautiful shot by Gabby Wilson. Scores 40-23, Colonia up on top over New Brunswick. 
Gabby Wilson with the steal, gets it over to Rachel Joe under the basket, can't get it to go. Sangu with the rebound. Oh, and it doesn't go, but there was a foul. So Sangu is going to go to the line. Time out, New Brunswick. Well, as I was saying he's, uh, earlier, I would have thought that uh, it may have been one-sided in this game but with Colonia uh, running away with the game. And for a while there they did. But uh, all of a sudden when we're looking at uh, a minute 38 left in this game and it's 40 to 23. New Brunswick started to get back into the game and then Colonia sunk a couple of shots to widen that lead and with a minute 38 left on the clock uh, it seems like New Brunswick's not going to be able to get back into this game and do any more damage. Coach Berry and Coach Jackson talking to their players. Coach Berry with his team. He's in the middle of the huddle over there. Coach Jackson appears from the side that he's diagramming plays. And there's the horn and the players come back out on the court. It's going to be Brunswick ball, New Brunswick's ball. No, I'm sorry. Sand goes on the line. She got fouled under the basket. And there was a timeout by Jackson, uh, Coach Jackson. Simron takes the first shot. Oh, and it's in and out. In and out. Here she is for the second shot. Oh, hits the back of the rim, goes up and goes in. So Sangu gets a point. It's 41 23. 132 left in this game. Sangu had the rebound, passes it over to right. Stanley's under the basket, and it's good. And she was fouled. Three point play here. So Stanley gets two and a foul shot. And I believe it was on number 34 for New Brunswick, Destiny Betts. And New Brunswick is now clearing their bench, bringing in uh, all the people that were on the bench now. These players were not into the game uh, any time. The Colonial regulars uh, getting time out. Wright comes out, Kristen Wright. Gabby Wilson comes out. Simran Sangu comes out. And it won't go. Number 21 is in for Colonia. That's uh, Noel Boast. We also have number 32, Hannah Doyle. And New Brunswick intercepts the pass, and the shot won't go. Stanley with the rebound. Colonia back on offense. Stanley with the ball, gets it over to Rachel Joe. And we're under one minute to go. Oh, and the ball goes out of bounds with 40 seconds left. New Brunswick inbounds the ball. And a shot. No good. Ball goes out of bounds. Off New Brunswick. It'll be Colonia ball. Scores 43-23. Colonia up on top. And we have 30 seconds left in the game. And Stanley's got the ball. Passes it over to... Julie Wright passes it over to Stanley. Just 17 seconds left in the game. Is Colonia going to wait for another shot or let the clock run out? Oh, and number 32 for Colonia, Hannah Doyle tried to get it up. She's going to go to the line, and she'll have two shots. A little under 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And again, even though the margin is 20 for Colonia, and Doyle sinks the first shot. I would have thought it would have been uh, 
larger than that. So New Brunswick gave them all they can handle. Second shot by Doyle, in! So she gets two points for the game. 45-23, Colony up on top. And 10 seconds left. Six seconds left. Brunswick with the shot, no good. Fighting for the ball. And the game is over. What a stellar performance by the Colonia Patriots here tonight. With the final score, Colonia Patriots 45, and the New Brunswick Zebras 23. I'm Joe Tarant, and I brought all the action to you tonight from Colonia High School. And this time, I would like to say good night, and we'll see you again.